as uh, Julia Adams said the Abbey Lane. That's a beautiful dress. That's a beautiful dress. You should have paid money for it. Well, how do you do, classic film fans? This is a uh, this is your classic film reviewer with another classic film to review, and here it is. Well, here it is, Bud Bodisher's 3D Western classic, Wings of the Hawk, starring Van Heflin and Julie Andrews. And uh, here's the box cover, and here's the sides. Well, let's look, let's see, okay. Wings of the Hawk, here's the sides. It's not focusing. Focus camera. It's not focusing. It's focusing, and it and, the, and it reads the site says Wings of the Hawk 3D Blu-ray, and the number is okay, and the number reads on the side um, um K2 now K2516. Here's the back of the thing, and uh, here's the back of the cover, and it says uh, 3D restoration from 2K scans of the left and right in interpositive from Bo Bodisher, the outstanding director, Red Ball Express, Hor Horizons West, Seminole, Seminole, Seven Men from Now, and Ride Lonesome comes this exciting western Adventure starring Van Heflin, Three Tender Human Shane, Julie Andrews, Bend of the River, Gringo Miner, Irish, Irish Gallagher Heflin is caught up in the Mexican Revolution 1911 when the corrupt administrator Colonel Paco Ruiz, George Dolan, scares strip, stiff, unjustly seizes gold. Gallagher saves the life of guerrilla leader Raquel Nori Noriega, play Adams, then finds that there is a price on his head. He becomes romantically involved with her in the course of a series of rescues and ambi ambushes leading up to Pascal Orazo, Noah Berry, the Spike Gang, March on Guad Juarez, Ciudad Juarez. This special edition comes both 2D and 3D versions of the film and the 3D Woody Woodpecker hypnotic hit. And here it reads, special features, audio commentary, film historian Jeremy Arnold, 20 minute audio commentary by Mike Ballou, 3DX Mike Ballou, Woody Woodpecker and Hypnotic Chick. Wings of the, and it reads, Wings of the Hawk, starring Van Heflin and Julie, Julie Adams, introducing Abby Lane, with George Dolenz and Antonio Moreno, Noah Berry, written, I mean, directed by Bud Bodisher. Now we're going to explain it for it a little bit more. It finally arrived. The 3D restored version of Bud Bodisher's The Wings of the Hawk. And I have been waiting for a year and a half for this film. Let me tell you something. When Bob Fermanac and the 3D archives was beginning to restore this picture, the original stereophonic three channel soundtrack was lost. Yes, it was lost and only two reels of it existed and it was in bad shape but as they were further restored and, and they were planning yep they were planning to artificially recreate the stereo because it was important but guess what in the midst of their restoration 
they found the original three channel stereophonic sound and restored it back in and that was great now for those of you who don't have a, a 3d setup you'll be seeing it in its original widescreen and three channel stereophonic sound but for those of you who have a 3d setup oh my goodness you're you're in for a surprise like the scene when uh, Irish, played by Van Heflin, decides to explode his own gold mine to stop to stop uh, Ruiz, played by uh, uh, George Dolan's Mickey Dolan's father, um, and the scene where he has to dynamite his own mine. Boy, it explodes in front of the camera. This huge boulder comes out, and actually comes out of the screen you have to duck it's so real and it's tied to the story and plot and it seems like that Bud Bodisher has sh he didn't like the 3D he hated it just like that guy did Friday the 13th part 3 he didn't like 3D neither in fact he quit he quit because he hated throwing those gimmick shots as he called it and somebody else had to shoot it but he, he actually shot everything in death and set the actors and the uh, 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 art direction and the background in, to make it look natural to, 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 as a means of telling the story and uh, it, it, it totally works and uh, in place in the Re Mexican Revolution of 1910 and 11 uh, Van Heflin portrays uh, portrays Irish Gallagher and his friend, played by uh, Mario Stiletti as Marco, they have a gold mine, they, they have a gold mine in there, and uh, they just struck gold, and all of a sudden, Ruiz, who controls the region of Mexico, comes in and steals his mine. As Julia Adams stated, to Van Heflin, his word is law. Julia Adams portrayed Raquel Noriega, whose property and parents were killed by Ruiz, for whom her sister, portrayed by Abby Lane in her film debut, who normally was a singer and dancer, who portrays dramatically her his her her uh, sister who is kidnapped by Ruiz but ends up falling in love with him. Comedian uh, Pedro Gonzalez Gonzalez who was discovered at the Groucho Marx show makes his film debut who would end up doing John Wayne movies and uh, he plays for humor. He plays for humor in this picture and he demonstrates in the film what he used to do in Mexican vaudeville with his family. Now Noah Beery plays um, Pascual Arozo, a bandit, that tries to make a deal with uh, the leader who's actually coward played by uh, American Mexican uh, actor uh, Adolfo, Adolfo Acosta. Acosta. And uh, he tells him that he'll get, he knows where the guns are, but he has to provide the money. But when it's decided, as um, now Gallagher joined them because his land was stolen and his friend was killed, his assistant, that he will have to go back into sneak into the mine with the aid of Julia Adams and get the gold so they can buy the guns. Uh, he just Aldolfo uh, just turns against the Mexican Revolution temporarily because uh, he turns into it because he's a coward. There was nothing, nothing but action, and it just, it, 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 it just, there, there, it's never a dull moment. But I remember in the previews where um, Julia Adams. 
uh, Van Heflin said something to Julia Adams. He said, uh, "Don't play with me. When I look for love, I look for I look it for life." And uh, well, guess what? It wasn't in the feature. And I don't know which part it was, but it's when uh, possibly Gallagher to told Raquel when he said he wanted her and the gold mine, and possibly she said, don't play with me. When I look for love, I look for life. That was cut out. It was in the preview, but it prob they probably cut it out because Bud Bodisher probably felt it was just too long. You know how these things go when you, when you have to decide what scenes you want to keep and not so it'll be even. But it isn't a bother. It is now. This was shot in the back lot. This was shot in the back lot of Universal, as the IMBD stated, matching locations. Now I try to find out because there was nothing about where uh, where the locations were. And IMBD said matching locations. The other uh, TCM said Mexico. But one of the uh, narrators, when I watched it again to hear the narration, not it was Jeremy Arnold that filmed the story and it stated that most of the exteriors were shot, shot at Ray Crash Corrigan, Corrigan's movie ranch in the uh, Simi Valley, where most of the Westerns usually were shot in that area. Now, I give this movie a 10. It's, it's entertaining and it's good in, in 2D as well as 3D. But 3D, you really jump into the plots and characters. Unfortunately, this was made at a time where they weren't deciding to include anaglyph versions for those who don't have a 3D setup, but maybe eventually will put out one for those who don't have a 3D setup. Well, anyway, um, it also includes Hypnotic Hick, uh, 3D, the only Woody Woodpecker cartoon by Walter Lance as produced in 3D. And uh, some of the 3D shots are good, all those, they always get you know, kind of a cardboard set up, like the scene where he's walking, skating. Uh, it kind of looks kind of less, little, little bit less deaf because of the color matches of, of the background. And he ends up getting a job as a, getting a job as a process server because some construction worker buzzard broke the law and he won't show up in court. But uh, he's stubborn, he doesn't accept, he refuses to accept, accept the, ser the serving notice. So Woody Woodpecker uh, learns hip hypnosis to try to hypnotize him. And uh, that's that, and you know, so he so he puts this construction work, worker buzzard into a lot of tricks. Now the best 3D shots are actually when they're on the uh, on the in the uh, construction worker area in the um, the building on top of the building. The the death for the cartoon is very good. Um, the skyscraper scene. Um, and all in all, like most of Woody Woodpecker cartoons, uh, it's funny, it's real funny. And um, it was shot in regular screen instead of non-anamorphic widescreen. I like Casper the Friendly Ghost, and it was mono. Um, but all in all, um, it's pretty good. And uh, you also got Mike Below, who also does a 20 minute comment. And uh, it was worth the wait. So if you do like this uh, video, please comment and subscribe. Goodbye.